Welcome back. So today we're going to take a little bit of a detour from working with old computers and I'm going to do something that's a little bit more related to my everyday job. I do all types of weird computer networking stuff and a lot of times um, I'm installing phone systems and I find that I need certain tools to do that. And one of those tools is called a lineman's butt set uh, or just a lineman set or a telco, uh, a telco set. Um, basically, it's a specialized little telephone that you can plug straight into uh, phone lines at a 66 block or a punch down block and uh, be able to connect to that and see if there's tone, dial out on it, and all of that magic. Um, those are very useful tools to have, but unfortunately, a proper butt set costs, oh, I don't know, over $80, and that's dumb, and I don't want to spend that much money. but. I have devised a way, uh, probably not a novel way, but I've just figured it out on my own, a way of making my own butt set for about 20 bucks. So I figured might as well show you how to do that. Um, it's actually cr uh, really simple. So, you know, you, you need a butt set to connect to something like this. Um, this guy has all the, has these, uh, these punch down points, these tap points that are used to punch in wires, and then you can punch off the other side to, uh, to split off and do all that other, that, uh, all that other stuff. This is a standard, uh, telco punch down. This thing, it dates from like the 70s or the 80s. Um, what's the date on this? 1987. This thing, uh, is ancient. Um, pulled it out of an old building that was being, um, ripped, uh, ripped apart. So, um, but basically, yeah. So if I want to tap onto this, you know, and I'm using a regular phone plug like this, my phone won't plug into that. I need something to plug into that. A lineman's butt set has uh, connectors on it that can slip right over these terminals and do that. But all I really need from an electronic standpoint, is a cheap phone. I don't need some $80 thing, especially if I'm not doing full telco stuff. I'm just doing quick test and check, tapping into lines to see what the line number is, to make sure it has tone, to check the polarity, stuff like that. So, we'll make one. The biggest, uh, or the big secret with a lineman's butt set are those things. These are what you need in order to connect to these correctly. These are a special kind of clip called an, uh, usually they're called ABN, uh, alligator bed of nails is, is usually how it, uh, how they're called. And, um, they're a specialized clip. If I can get them out of the bag here. Specialized clip that, uh, it's got an alligator in, but it has this kind of, uh, rounded uh, open mouth on it and it comes out at an angle and what that allows you to do is it allows you to uh, tap onto your line uh, or two of these uh, right next to each other without getting them crossed or cross connect or anything they just separate apart they clip right over the end of it and they stick on the end and that's how they do it um it also has this bed of nails connection and sometimes you can get them with the with the little spikes so you can actually bite into bare wires and other things uh, or cut straight through sheath wire to, to do tests on coax but we're not doing that so that doesn't matter um but yeah, uh, so basically, uh, to do this, you just you need to get one of these cheap telephones, like any old $9 telephone off any website on the internet you want. You need to get the ABN clips. Um, you can get these individually and get the boots individually, but I found it's usually the most cost-effective um, to get a, a kit that has both the colors uh, and the two clips. You're going to need a little bit of Ethernet cable. You can use just about any, uh, like, 20, 24 to 26 gauge wire you want. 26 gauge is about what, uh, the, type, the type of gauge you want. Ethernet cable works the best because you can find it anywhere. You can just grab a, a patch cable and cut it apart and use that if you want to. You can also buy a big spool of what's called um, uh, just a telco hookup wire or line wire, pair wire, um, that comes in a single color like orange and white orange or blue and white blue or something like that. But that tends to be expensive for some dumb reason. I don't know why. Ethernet cable is cheap and ubiquitous. You just use that. Uh, you need, uh, you're going to need a uh, RJ, uh, I believe this is an RJ12, RJ11, RJ12 uh, jack, standard phone jack um, plug. And you need, you need a termination tool to do that. If you're a network person, you already have these things in your kit. You'll probably, you can get just about everything, you know, through standard suppliers, even these things. I got these online. And so, uh, yeah, you hook all this stuff together, you crimp it down, and basically that allows you to plug this guy into your phone and then plug these onto the, the jack in there. So let's actually put it together. We'll just do it while we're doing it. 
So, I'll strip the wire here. And everybody's going to say, Blasphemy, what are you, are you using that to strip wire? What are you doing? You're supposed to use these. I hate using these to strip wire. I love using my uh, my uh, jaw, uh, jaw cutters here. So do that. I don't need this little strand of uh, pull strip wire. So the color code you're wanna, gonna, uh, going to want to use on this would be white, blue, then blue. Those correspond to tip and then ring in the correct uh, polarity order um, for this. And I find it's also easier when doing this to go ahead and terminate the orange pair inside here well as well. Again, following the same pattern, putting the tip on the left and the ring on the right like this. So it's white, orange, white, blue, blue, orange. Um, the uh, orange pair isn't going to be used at all. It just helps bite in here a lot better. And so you get those aligned, and then you cut off the excess over here, the, uh, the uh, brown and green, because we're not going to be using that. You're also probably thinking, why you term why this wire so long? Aren't you really supposed to terminate with a quarter of an inch and blah 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 blah? Yeah, yeah, you're exactly right. But it is a if you're only working with a quarter inch of this wire, it is a pain in the butt to get these all lined up to go in there easily. So I always overstrip excess and then trim it down to a quarter of an inch. Like that. That might be a little too long. Hold on. Just a little more. All right? And so we got our color code in there correctly. Put that in there. And I go ahead and, yep, it's still too long. Still a bit too long. Because I want to get the entire cable up into the, into the connector so that it'll bite down and have a good uh, strain relief connection in here. Like that. Okay. Make sure our cable goes all the way up the end there. It does. All right. So we need to terminate this in here. Goes in, press down super hard, clamp it really hard. Uh, and there we are. So that end is terminated. And of course, because we got it all the way up in there, it's nice and clamped down on there and it's not loosey goosey. So this end's gonna be nice and secure for the forevers. Now, before I do anything with this end, I'm gonna put some heat shrink on here because I want to heat shrink the end of this here in a little bit so that it has an even better connection on the end, even better strain relief. Use about, oh, half of that, say, something like that. Doobie, doobie, doo. Put this over this. But we want to make sure it's under the clip here, obviously. If it's over the clip, then the clip loses its entire purpose for being. Let that heat up. It's hot. Shrink it, ink it. Here, I have some other. Get that out of the way. There we go. Heat shrink that sucker. That one's done. And then I'm going to put a, a smaller diameter over top of that to shrink this diameter down because this won't shrink all the way over uh, that. And I thought it was not going to do that, so I went ahead and uh, prepared ahead and got an extra piece that was the next diameter down. And we shrink that over top of that. There we go, we got some good strain relief on there. Good, okay. So, now we gotta do this end. So, 
we need to strip this back a little bit. We need to get these clipped in here, and then they have little screw, screw bolty things. So you unscrew it, you wrap it around, you put it on there tight, and then when you're done, you uh, fold, uh, you're supposed to uh, use uh, some high-end cable and do that, but we're not gonna do that. You can fold these ends over on top of the wire if you want to try to get it to stick in there, but we're not gonna do that. So, this time we need to strip it back quite a bit. Get rid of the pull pull line there. Don't need that. Now we're going to be dealing with the blue wire only. These wires are not going to be used for anything. So we can just cut them off. Just get rid of them. And we take the blue and white wires. And we get them nice and separated because you know we're going to need a little bit of room to to separate the clips when we put the clips on there. Just uh, trying to make sure I understand how these go together before I do this. Yeah. So basically, you have to put this through, put it together. Yeah. And that means we're going to need a little bit more sheathing out of the way. Just a little bit. Okay. <laughs> so, ring is the white one, so that's black, so we'll do black first. That's got to go through there like that to get out of my way. Let me see how much of this is we're going to need as well, because I might just heat shrink all of that on there, just together as one piece there. No, no. I'll leave them separated. They'll be all right. Screwdriver and pliers, because we need to unscrew this right here. Loosen it to get our wire in there. Okay, that's loosened up. Take our wire and strip our wire. Make sure we're on the right gauge there, 24. Yep. Wire stripped. Oh gosh, and everything fell out. Because of course it did. Because of course it did. Okay. Put our bare wire over top of that. You can do it. Work with me here, silly cable. And I gotta get the nut in there. This is gonna be a pain in the butt. You know, I should probably put the nut in there first. Because then I'll have something I can hook the nub to here. I also forgot I gotta get the, uh, the, uh, the uh, black sheath on there as well. Oh, this is being a pain in the patoot. Pain in my butt. Stop being a pain in my butt. Stop it. I might just jump cut here to having put this together because this is absolutely boring watching me fiddle around with a stupid little nut. So, oh, all right, we're back from the jump cut. I got this all put together, so we just compress this down, which is easier said than done. I might actually jam it open. That might work a little better. Yeah, we'll jam it open. This goes right in like that. And there you go. So you got an insulated clip here, so you don't have to touch the electricals part. And then we just repeat it for the red side. Same process, different connector. And the red side, uh, easy way to remember this is red is ring. 
Uh, so the, that side uh, on standard telco, it's green is tip and red is ring. So uh, since we did uh, the ring on that side as the solid color blue, we want to use the ring on this side as the solid color blue as well. And uh, of course, you know, this is being stupid. It doesn't want to turn. There we go. There we are. Um, yeah. So that helps you remember. Red is ring. R R. Red ring. Dooby dooby doo. Strip this off a little bit. Coil it around nice and neat. Put it underneath the nut. If I can unscrew it enough. And then tighten it back down. Yep, that's tight. Jam that open. So we can get the uh, clip on there. Clip is in. And that is it. So now we got our connector piece all done. So, butt set completed. To make this official, all you have to do is you take this end, put it in your phone, right there, and you connect this. Connect this guy right here to your connections. And you got basically tip and ring. And there you go. You've just tapped a phone line with your own butt set that you made for about $20 worth of parts instead of an $80 one online. Now, if you're doing this kind of thing as an official lineman, you know, for um, uh, official purposes over and over and over again, yeah, you're probably going to want to go ahead and get a butt set. They have lots of extra little uh, uh, features for testing the phone lines built into them. But if you're only doing this on occasion, why spend the $80? Do you do this and, and, uh, and you'll be set. Well, that's all I had for today. Um, while you're here, check out some of my other videos or drop a dollar in the Patreon comp. And remember, 8 bits are all you need. Thanks for watching. If you want to help out my endeavors, head on over to Patreon, pick a tier, and get cool stuff like early access, behind the scenes videos, your name in the credits, and gadgets. Link in the description.